Hi planners, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I write and schedule in my social media planner for the week. If you are interested in seeing how I decorated this spread, go ahead and look up and click the link above in the cards and you can see how I decorated this spread. I appreciate you tuning in and hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that little red button in the bottom right corner of this video. Now I'm going to get right into this video by talking about how I separate each subject in this planner. So I start with Instagram, then YouTube, then my blog, and then my side business, Norwex. So that's how I separate each column and decide what I'm going to do each day of the week. What I find beneficial in my social media planning is by starting with what I plan on posting to Instagram. And sometimes this can spark other thoughts. So don't be alarmed if I move around this spread a bit because it's just my natural process. Um, sometimes I think about one thing for Instagram and it makes me remember to write something in a different column. And so that's just how the creativity sparks. And so I roll with it. I don't try to limit myself. Once I get to writing, um, anything in this spread is fair game. Um, so I decided to start with what I plan on posting to Instagram, which is helpful because sometimes I just don't know what to post. I want to post something. I want to put out content, but I'm not sure what. So I decided upon a before the pen spread a coffee picture and a Monday sticker we have a lot of Monday stickers that come with different um, planner sticker books and planner sticker sheets so I know that I always have a cute little Monday quote or sticker that I can post on social media and so that just helps me to be able to talk about what I want to do so in writing about Instagram, it made me think about the things that I want to put on YouTube. And so you see, I just kind of like went down to YouTube. So don't be alarmed at that. It's just part of my creative process. Your brain may work differently and you may want to stick with Instagram when you're talking about Instagram or certain subjects. But for me, I'm okay with moving around because at the end of the spread, I will still have a weekly layout for each of those subjects.
So as I'm finishing up some last minute plans and scheduling in this planner, I just wanted to pop in to let you know that if you're interested in any products in this video, I have included the links in the description below. And if you're looking for more planner inspiration, you can check out my Instagram page at Chloe Tree Plans and the link to my page is also in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching.